God give you the force and give you the, the knowledge to understand what you have to do with your life. Because I'm over here, I, I'm over here right now, right? If I don't think that I can change my life, in, in, I can be over here. If I don't think, if I, if I don't be positive that I'm gonna change my life, I do it like that, boom, and I go to the street, to the same shit. Teodoro de Leon Teridio has spent the last six months at Meson de Dios' home for drug rehabilitation. Teodoro is trying to kick addictions to cocaine, crack, and alcohol that have left him living on the streets for 10 years. born over here in, in, in the capital. When I got 12, I went to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. I went to New York, from New York I get deported to over here. I get married over here when I came over here. But my, my wife, he find out I was using drugs. And he find out I was spending the money in the street. So she say, Make up your mind what you're gonna do because I don't wanna be here waiting my time with you. I say, okay, forgive me, I'm gonna change and this and that. But I never do it. Boom, and she went. So I went to the street. Doing alcohol, listening music, I was fucked up. I was sleeping right there. That fucked up. The men of Meson de Dios have the same routine every day except Sunday. Wake up at 5 in the morning, church services, chores, breakfast, one hour Bible study. At noon they eat lunch and at 2 o'clock Teodoro fries donuts. The men of Meson de Dios make two to three hundred donuts six days a week in a small shack attached to the home. You got your mind busy, uh, busy, you know? After the donuts are coated in sugar, they are sold in the street for 10 pesos each. All the money goes to help support the house and the men living in it. Teodoro was given permission from the program directors to take two days to visit his family in the countryside outside Puerto Plata, three and a half hours from Santo Domingo. Teodoro's mother, Ramira, is recovering from a stroke and suffers severe dementia. Half a long time I've seen my mom, like nine years, you know? And all I was thinking, I was nervous about that. When Teodoro arrived at his mother's home, she did not recognize him and became upset. After Teodoro's sister calmed her down, Teodoro had a chance to reconnect. No, I was thinking that it was my fault, you know, she's like that. And I feel guilty, you know. When I saw her, she don't look like before, you know. She don't look like her when she was young. And she looked a woman half 80 years, and she just half 65 years old. On his one night away from rehab, Teodoro followed his brother, Silvestra, to a local bar. Teodoro finished two beers before his brother stopped him and bought him a non-alcoholic drink. Silvestra drank four beers and stayed all night with a sex worker. He tried to, to take care of me. They don't want me to see, to see me drinking because 
they know I can fall down, you know what I'm saying? And I have to start again and they don't wanna they don't want that for me. I feel I was feeling good. I feel great man. I would like to stay for more more time, you know. Theodore returned home, showing off his gift of cologne his family had given him, telling no one about the beer, fearing he would be kicked out of the program. Teodoro settled into his routine, knowing he has six more months before he will be allowed to leave again. Got no sense you be in the street using drugs. I don't want to die because I stay here six more more. I want to change my life, man, and I got my force inside me. Sometimes I want to go back, but I say I can't. I stay keeping going. That's the only way I got. If I want to get my family, if I want to get my my children, if I want to get my wife, I have to change my life. Then I can go back no more.